Hey guys, I figured we would get to a part two of this um, pot mod um, using an, uh, the 36 volt to 48 volt uh, controller that I picked up in the summer. It'll do uh, the 30, 36, or it's an 18 amp. Uh, the way I'm going to wire it up is I'm going to run it through with the battery through my um, my um, power supply for the bench. I'll run that at full 30. This way I can use the current and we can see the difference through um, through the current when I uh, change the pot. Uh, one thing I am going to do is instead of having a throttle I'm going to use a pot for a throttle as you can see. Uh, on the video uh, uh, on this side of this side I've left a picture of how you can wire that up if you want to set up something without a, a uh, hull you can use a pot. You just have to make sure you zero it out before you uh, turn it on. But uh, I will show you it works. Power. Now we'll just turn this a bit. So there you go. It does work. And I marked it. At that mark there, I get about 16 milliamp. So that's what we're going to go by, and then when I uh, when I set the uh, the other pot up, we'll change the um, the value of that and put it back to the mark here and see if it doesn't draw more milliamps uh, with the different settings that we're going to put on it. So let me finish soldering that up, and then uh, we'll give it a test. You can uh, in the video. I'll leave a, another picture there where you can. I'll show you where I found the the uh, trace that goes to the to the um, the shunt. Uh, the trace is on the same side. Uh, no, it's on the opposite side of the main power. If you want to look for it, just follow the main power lead in the positive, the thick one. Uh, it'll be the opposite side of the shunt. So that's the main power lead going in there. And the shunt, or the um, the trace that measures the voltage across the shunt, is on the other side. So it'll either be on the bottom or the top, and you can follow it to, towards the pick or whatever IC it's running at. It's running at that IC right there. So that IC there controls the um, the the amps. So so what we're going to do is we're going to cut that trace, and then we're going to add our pot right in there and uh, see if it uh, doesn't <laughs> see if it makes any changes hopefully you're not rattling around too much um, with this pot here uh, this is a uh, 50k so it's a little a little too sensitive with this one uh, as soon as you turn the pot it just shuts off but if you put the smaller one on which is uh, rated for uh, no idea. I'll look as soon as I'm done here. But I will show you that it does change the milliamps uh, pulling through it, and it actually changes the speed too. So there is difference being made here. It all depends on the pot being used. If I can get it in here. Turn it the other way. There it goes. You can see the voltage or the um, the milliamps drop, and so is the speed. And beyond that, it just stops. So you have to set it before you go. So it does work. Take a lot of um, a lot of uh, configuring to get it to work. Um, I'm going to try a couple of different pots, but you know, I wanted to see if it would work. It works. So uh, you can do it this way, or you could uh, another way you could probably do it is make a board and make your own little shunts. You can just plug right into the board. That would work too. But uh, I'm going to keep working on this, see if I can get it to run smoother. Later, guys. 
made an error, guys. Um, I quickly post a video. Uh, you don't have to follow the positive in to find the... Um, it, it doesn't measure the voltage across the positive lead. It, it measures the voltage across the negative lead. So just follow the negative lead in, and then it'll take you to the end of the shunt, and then the opposite side of that shunt will be your trace. Okay? So I did that in error.